for your appearance this morning and thank you for your leadership. I have one priority this morning and that is with regards to the proposed reductions to the 425th Brigade Combat Team at uh, J. Bear. And General Milley, I thank you for, for visiting Alaska last week or about 10 days or so ago to observe the 4th Infantry Brigade Combat Team there at J. Bear. In your military judgment, do you think that the 4th Infantry Brigade Combat Team should be retained as a strategic deterrent to Russia and to support our military objectives in the Pacific? I do, Senator. Uh, and if I could take a minute to explain. If you would, explain. please. Um, so when I first was uh, nominated and then confirmed for uh, Chief, Senator Sullivan asked me to take a look at it. So I've done that. And I've gone to school on the situation, I think, uh, reasonably well in the Pacific uh, relative to Russia in the Arctic in the, in the Northern Pacific. Uh, and I've concluded after about four or five, six months here, a pretty intensive study, uh, that Russia is not only acting aggressively in Europe, they're also asserting themselves uh, in the Pacific and specifically in the Arctic. They've activated additional brigades. Uh, they put up some command and control capabilities, and they've done some other things in the north. So I think it would be contrary to U.S. strategic national security interests to go ahead and uh, pull out uh, 425 at this time. Um, so I'm, I, my thought is that we should extend them at least a year to see how the strategic situation develops uh, and then move from there. Uh, but right now, that brigade is the only airborne uh, vertical insertion uh, forced entry capability available to Admiral Harris. Uh, we've got a variety of situations I've already described with Korea and, and you know, Chinese operations in the South China Sea, et cetera. Uh, we just don't know. We can't predict the future, but we want that, kit, uh, that capability in the kit bag of the President of the United States and the Combatant Commander and Secretary of Defense, uh, and to have that tool available if required. They can rapidly deploy. They're less than eight hours from any hot spot, not only in the Pacific, but in other parts of the world. There's a great joint uh, strategic deployment platform up there with Air Force capabilities. They can move by air. They can move by sea. So you, we've got a national capability there that I think is worthwhile keeping. Uh, I confirm that through personal site visits, talk to the commanders, talk to the soldiers. Uh, so I'm, I, I think we need to at least uh, keep them for an additional year, defer our decision uh, for one year. And that would be my best military advice at this time. Well, that is very welcome news and, and much appreciated and just a true recognition of what we have with this only Airborne Brigade combat team there for the Pacific, um, uh, Arctic trained, mountain trained, uh, you, you know all the superlatives. So thank you for, for recognizing and acknowledging that. I would ask you, Secretary Murphy, if you can concur with the judgments that have been expressed by General Milley. Senator, I, I plan, as, as I mentioned to you earlier, I plan on going up to Alaska myself. I, I've been partnering with uh, Chief Milley on this. Uh, I come from an airborne unit when I deployed with them, I know it strategically is an incredible asset. My understanding are from the from the chief's report, the facilities up there also, the training facilities are second to none. And we've invested a lot of money up there. So we are looking at that uh, and it's my understanding, I have the authority to act on it and I look forward to giving you and working with you uh, as we review this shortly with an answer. Good. Well. Again, to both of you, I, I appreciate what you have provided here today, and I look forward to working with you to ensure that the capabilities that we have with the 425th uh, are continued to allow for that robust security uh, that we need specifically at this time. And with the components that they have, I think we recognize that it is exceptional and needs to be protected. So I thank you for that, and I look forward.